So the Barbie movie didn't get any Oscar nominations, and I don't know why people are surprised. It's a movie that's okay at best. Like, it's an alright movie. I enjoyed it. Like, I'll be honest, the first time I watched it, I gave it a much better review than I do now. But that was because when I went to go watch it, I had no motivation to watch it. But when I left the theater, I was like, that's a better film than I expected it. And I have a record, honestly, if you look at my old channel called Dundo Archives, link in the description down below. Don't go subscribe to it or anything, but you can watch my old content to see how it used to be before I gave my life to God. But um, back in the day, I remember I used to exaggerate some of my reviews. I, there was a point where I gave Eternals and Morbius really good reviews nowadays. Eternals, I think, is an alright film. I think Morbius is an alright film. I know that's still an unpopular opinion, but I gave it much, much higher reviews. And one of those movies was also Barbie. I think the Barbie movie caught me so off guard because I didn't expect it to be as or better than it was. You know, I remember 15 minutes into the film, I was kind of laughing. I was enjoying the movie because I was like, this doesn't feel like a movie I should be watching in theaters. So there's that. Um, but a lot of people are mad that it got it didn't get nominated for oscars i see a lot of feminists right now going out of their way to be like look at the oscars being sexist and look this happens all the time i remember a couple years ago there's a lot of movies that were nominated that that were main main lead uh, white actors and people were like oscar so white this and that look can i say this i'm done with the identity politics bro i'm truly done with it i don't care if you're gay black jewish white whatever you are People put so much emphasis on the identity. The only identity we, we should really be identifying with is God. Like when I, when someone asks me, what am I? I tell them, I'm a God-fearing man. I'm a Christian. I'm a believer. I'm a believer of Jesus Christ of Nazareth coming down to die for our sins. I believe in that. I believe in that. And I believe everyone should just do the same, bro. I don't care if I'm Hispanic. I don't care anything. Like God bless. I'm, I'm glad that God made me Hispanic. Don't get me wrong. I'm, gl I'm glad that he made me a man. I'm glad that he made me this, you know, it's good in a resume to put down that, you know, two languages fluently. That's much better advantage than people who only know English. Like, I thank God for it. But at the end of the day, it's like, it's one of those things like, who cares? Who cares, man? Who cares? We got the Blue Beetle movie already. Okay. Racism ended a while ago. I'm obviously kidding about that second part, but I I'm so done with it. And all I'm saying is the Barton movie I don't see how someone can say it's an Oscar level film. Let me use an example of mine. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is my favorite movie of the year. It was my favorite movie of 2023. It's probably down now in my favorite movies of all time because I love Guardians. I've seen that movie way, way, way too many times. That being said, though, that being said, if you were to ask me, should it be an Oscar nominee? I'd probably say no. But that's because I'm also not a Oscar film critic. I'm not someone who goes to watch every movie and is like, mm-hmm, the, the cinema, the cinematography, mm-hmm, splendid, Martin Scorsese, mm -hmm. No, I'm not one of those. I'm normal. I just go to a movie, eat my popcorn, and have fun with it. I like watching fun movies, okay? Like, in 2023, I watched Across the Spider-Verse, Super Mario Brothers, Guardians, I think Puss in Boots counts there. John Wick Chapter 4. I watched Cocaine Bear. Everyone forgot that movie came out. I watched these movies. It's like, I'm not someone who's going to pretend to be, mm hmm yes, the, the, the cinema. Mm-hmm, I did. I do, in fact, watch The Godfather. Mm, Dubitably. I don't know. I can't speak fancy. Mm-hmm. I eat all my food with a fork knife and a napkin tucked on my neck. Mm-hmm. Splendid. We are so British. <laughs> like, I'm not one of those people. All right? I go watch a movie. I have fun with it. But I got to admit, I wouldn't put Guardians up there in a best Oscar film. I mean, if they do it, cool. And also, I don't care about the Oscars. Why do people care so much about awards? Like, I, I've seen people literally in my personal life get mad at the Game Awards for being like, The Last of Us Part 2 didn't deserve it. They're, look at them being paid shows. It's like, bro, even if your game won, what do you win? You don't win anything. They win a trophy. You just sit around on the TV paying $60 for a game they made. They're winners. You're the loser. You're the sucker. That's what making money is, really. Making money is convincing people to give you money. That's what it is. If you're at a coffee shop, they convinced you enough to go into that store and pay and take your money from your wallet and give it to them 
because they said so. That's what it really is. And I, I, I see people act so stupid about these awards, bro. It's just other people winning trophies. I don't care if a movie wins an Oscar. Actually, you know what? Let me ask you a question. Without Googling it, without Googling it, name the last five best picture winners. Name the last five. I guarantee you that even if y'all know some of them, y'all don't know all of them. And if you know all of them, then you're one of those film doors that are like, mm-hmm, cinema, mm-hmm, the camera, the lighting. Mm-hmm. I liked it when the camera showed the water and it was showing a reflection of the character's true emotional pain. Like, just shut up, bro. Let me go watch a movie in normal. But let's be honest, the Barbie movie is not an Oscar-level film. It's not that great of a movie. It's a pretty solid movie. I have a problem with the movie, sure. But it's not that good. And if you want to talk about messaging and feminism, you know that the Oscars is not a political, like, award show. Like, it's not here to say, hey, this message was good, let's promote it. No, the Oscars is just saying, hey, these are the best movies that came out, and we're here to give them recognition. That's what they should be. They shouldn't be political statements, you know? And let's be honest, the Bart movie's not that good. The, the bar, like the only thing that, that the bar movie you could argue could nominate be nominated for is best original song because I'm just can everywhere else I'll be attached but no it's like suck it up it's an award you're not gonna win it doesn't help anyone it's not like if the Oscars gave the Barbie an award it's not like sexism was gonna end completely it's not like every man was gonna look and say oh it won an Oscar I guess we gotta stop beating women aha uh-huh. We gotta stop being Mason Greenwood. Don't search him up because then that this joke now feels inappropriate. But just identify with God. God is good. God is great. God is the Almighty, the Omega, the Powerful, everything. Like I, I'm so done with this identity politics. Conservatives do it too. I've seen conservatives who who will defend Trump more than they do Jesus Christ. And I don't care who you like, Trump or Biden. But I also see this from conservatives. Though like their entire tweet, their, their entire Twitter will literally just be Donald Trump this, Donald Trump that, and like every once in a while they'll mention Jesus Christ. Like, what the heck, bro? Mention our Lord and Savior Jesus, bro. He's significantly much better than Trump. Much, much better than Trump. And I don't I don't mind if you endorse Trump. I I I, I like Trump to an extent, but you you never will see me endorsing him more than I do Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ, he's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. You know? But the movie itself, look, a lot of people are saying that it should win just because of that America Ferreira speech, but that speech was just lame. Like, I don't mean to be that guy, but when I watched the movie, I was listening to, to the speech, and it was just kind of cringe. Look, this is now outside of the video, but I, I watched the Barney movie a second time back in October, and it made me realize how bad the writing is. The writing is, like, it doesn't subtly tell you the message of feminism. It's more just, like, overtly, like, trying to push it to you. Like, it's almost like, like, ring, 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 women, women, women. Like, that's that's all it is. Like, it's not subtle about it. It's more just like, hey, here's the message, boom, 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 boom. And that's not how a movie should work. No, a movie, like, like Breaking Bad, to me, is the best way you do a subtle message. The subtle message was about a man... Try, like trying to provide for his family but ultimately ended up being an evil monster and the message there was like hey like you gotta humble yourself yeah you know, I, I i actually saw a pastor make a video about how how breaking bad can be seen as a christian show because it shows you that this guy every sin he kept committing little by little it turned out to leave him all in the dumps by the end of it and you know he lost his family he lost his friends he lost everyone around him because of the sin he kept committing. I thought it was an interesting video. But the Barbie movie, that speech, like, I don't mean to be that guy, but the Barbie movie was overtly attacking men without any facts. You know, it wasn't any... There's a couple of things in it factually, you know, but ultimately, Ken was what saved the movie for me. I think the movie was solid because of Ken. Every time Ryan Gosling's on screen, because he's literally me, I'm just kidding. But every time Ryan Gosling was on screen, like, I was like, this... Honestly, I would have much rather a Ken movie because the Barbie stuff was just kind of boring for the most part. Like what, what I find weird about the Barbie movie is it spends most of the time in a matriarchal society with the Barbies. Women dominate. Men are just seen as little weaklings off there on the side. And then the movie tries to be like, well, actually, actually men control society. And 
they're dominant. And you know what? I'm going to say this too. I think there is truth to that. But why is the truth? Because the Bible says it. Men are the leaders and are the providers. Because men and women have certain roles in society. That might be a hot take, but that's just how it's worked. If you look at all the most respected, all the best heroes in society, if you look at all of them, notice that most of them tend to be men, but yet the movie wanted to bash men for that. Like, I don't mean to be that guy, and I know this is outside of what I should be talking about, but we live in a time where really there's no, like, we live in a pretty fair society. Women can go out and get careers. Women can go get jobs. Women can be as fat as they want. And there will still be men simping for you. Women actually have one advantage. They could sell their body online. They have all these advantages. But yet they sit around saying that we're holding them back. You know? Um, and I noticed this because when I gave my life to God, one thing I noticed heavily was when I was very liberal, when I was very uh, a, a, away from God. One thing that was promoted heavily was sex work. Sex work is bad. Sex work, all it does is end up hurting you and you make dirty money. And the Bible does go into the fact that you can make dirty money and that dirty money does not please God. Sure, it might help you here in, in the world, but once you pass away and we all will at some point, that's not going to help you with God. You're not going to be like, God, but God, it helped me pay for my college. Sorry, man, but you didn't repent. You didn't ask for forgiveness. You never gave your life to me down to the lake of fire that's just the truth and i think that's the problem right now in society we don't tell people the truth we tell people little fantasies why do you think we live in a world where people can identify as a giraffe why do you think we live in a world where you have to date a trans woman and if you say no to her just because of that or him i mean you're now deemed transphobic we live in a society where if you dare say anything from the bible you're seen as alt-right fascist. I've been labeled those two things, even though I've not made political videos. I've never endorsed Trump in these videos, but yet I'm called alt-right for some reason. Like, I've never endorsed him. I've never endorsed right-wing stuff. I've endorsed the word of God. I endorse what the Bible tells me, but I don't endorse things just because conservatives believe him. I don't care about Ben Shapiro. I don't care about Candace Owens. I don't care about Donald Trump. I don't care about these people. What I care about is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, I care about my Lord Jesus Christ, and that's all I care about. And my problem with this movie is that it promotes feminism. And I don't care what anyone says, but feminism is demonic. Feminism is horrible. It promotes abortion. Abortion is baby murder. You know who else committed baby murder? <laughs> Tribes that used to send them to their gods, but really that was Satan himself. You know, it promotes less motherhood and i believe motherhood is one of the most beautiful things a woman can do it promotes that it promotes being more independent so now it causes more divorces look at how society has been affected now post-feminism we have a 50 50 divorce at uh, divorce rate we have more women waiting to be mothers until they're 30 and by that point sometimes it can't be too late we're living in a world where we're telling men that they're bad just for being born men you know isn't that crazy? We're trying to end. We're trying to end. We're trying to end this oppression of anyone with a different group. But yet we're just adding more. It's like to end one, you have to add another. You know, which I find stupid. I find very stupid that God says you must love everyone. God says He made everyone equal. God said that, he made man and women equal. Just that He gave them certain roles that they must follow. It's why women get pregnant and men don't. It's why women and men have different body parts. We're different because we serve different functions in society. It doesn't make men better. It doesn't make women better. It just means we have different roles and we have to balance it out so that we can have a better society. But we live in a society where we're now we're saying women are up here and men are down here. And what that's now led to is that men feel bad. Men don't know how to navigate in the dating sphere. And also dating as a whole, dating is degeneracy. Because nowadays, there's a 1% chance they're going to meet someone who's dating for marriage. And if you even implied that in that first day, bro, you're seen as weird. Here in America, at least, the dating scene is degenerate. You have people who just date, sex, date, sex, date, sex. And then they get married once they're in their mid-30s. It's like, that's degenerate. You spend your 20s just being a degenerate filth. I'm so glad that I'm 22 and I learned that early on. Because now, 
I gave up that degenerate path and now I gave my life to God. But the problem is people aren't humble anymore. People are so arrogant and egotistical that they think they're better than God. It's like when I tell people I don't eat pork, they look at me and they think that's stupid. Why? And I say, because God deemed it unclean in the Bible, Leviticus chapter 11, verse seven and Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15 or 17. I don't remember the exact one. He says, pork is unclean. Pork is disgusting. And instead of saying, but I like bacon, but I love ham, but I love pepperoni. Instead of saying that, I said, God, you want me to do this? I, I won't. I'll stop eating it. Because at the end of the day, what I care about is inheriting the kingdom of heaven. And the problem with feminism is you're telling women, fall out of your roles. You're actually better than men and do all these degenerate things. Like I've had people tell me that me being against abortion, me being against that is disrespecting women's bodies. But I'm thinking, no, it's not. What I think it's disrespecting is that baby inside. That baby deserves a chance of life. They deserve a chance to worship God. They deserve that chance. Like, And all I got to ask you is like, what if you were aborted? Imagine if someone took away your opportunity of life. Like, just, just think about that for a second. And people are calling it a woman's body thing. No, this is a baby's body thing. I believe a baby should be born. I believe every baby deserves that chance of living a life instead of it being removed. But yet feminism promotes that. Feminism promotes baby sacrifices. It promotes not having normal marriages. And you know what that happens? You know what happens because of that? The nuclear household is broken, but God wants us to have that nuclear household. Having a mother and a father at home raising the children, that is something that we need. That is something we need in society as a whole. But yet feminism says, no, don't do that. You go do your career thing and wait to be a mother. And then you never become one, <laughs> you know. And I didn't like that the Barbie movie was pushing that, agen that agenda. Even though I think the movie was solid as a whole, like I'm not going to pretend like it's not. I didn't like that messaging. And I don't like how people treat that message as if it was Oscar level. I've seen better movies promote a feminist agenda than that. I believe there are strong women. I believe women should be empowered. I believe your femininity is beautiful. The same way I believe men should be proud of their masculinity, I believe women should be proud of their femininity. Because God made you that way. God gave you that. And I think you should be proud of it. But the problem with feminism, it's not promoting femininity. It's promoting ego. It's promoting arrogance. It's why I don't support the red pill. Even though I'll say I like watching some red pillars and I think some of the things they say is good. Ultimately, I'll never call myself a red pillar because I don't agree with red pill. I think the red pill does the same thing. The red pill is put men up here, put women down here. Hey, women, you be traditional. We won't be traditional. Like, I don't like that. But at the end of the day, the only thing we should be pilled on, not blue pilled, not red pilled, but we should be Christ pilled. We should be God pilled. We should be pilled into serving the one true God. That's the only thing that we should be pilled on. That should be the only identity we'd identify as. Actually, you know what? I'd say this right now. Society would be significantly better if people didn't identify as black, white, Asian, Native American, Indian, or people didn't identify as men, women, giraffe, Ford Focus. Like, it would be much better if people just said, hey, we're all believers of the one true God. And then that's it. The world would be significantly better if we let our ego at the door and we follow the one true God, life would be better. If you actually look at the objectives, life would be better. Let's remove alcohol. Let's remove this pork. Let's remove this feminism. Let's remove this degenerate sex dating life. Let's remove the LGBT. Let's remove all this sin because that is the only truth to society. And that is that we need God. We need God because without God, look at the degeneracy that's filled and look what it's happened. It's made people more depressed. Look at the depression rates. They're all declining all the time. Like, or it's making people go even like sadder and sadder and sadder. Why do you think people are antidepressants? Why do you think people are addicted to weed, alcohol? Like, it's so normal to see kids doing drugs nowadays, like ecstasy, you know, all this kind of stuff, like LSD. Like, you see that normalized nowadays. But yet, when you carry a Bible around, which I do this because this Bible is small. I like to carry this around with me with my notes and all that. You're seen weird for having this, but you're seen normal for having weed on you. You're seen as normal by, by having your phone on you all the time. But yet this is seen as odd. Like, nah, this is the only thing that can guide us to the truth. That phone of yours, 
I mean, if you have a Bible app, then that will guide you to the truth. But other than that, all that thing does is promote degeneracy to you. So that's all I can say. If the Barbie movie had been nominated, that I'd, I'd be all right with that because at the end of the day, I don't care about the Oscars. I only care about the Bible. And that's all I got to say. And if you like the Barbie movie, good. If you like the messaging, hey, that's up to you. But that's all I got to say. Those are my objective thoughts. And I'm actually glad I had the opportunity because I did want to talk about it. Um, I did want to talk about it now post giving my life to God. But thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think. And if you agree, disagree, again, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one. Praise God.